Um, Sarah asked me to do the thought for the day about a song that has been significant in my life and um, that wasn't difficult for me to think of one at all. Um, so here's, here's the story and you'll hear the song later because it, you, and then you'll realise just how important it was to me. In 1979 I qualified as a teacher. I had trained at Kingston, I lived in Battersea and I wanted to work in London. But at the time, there were not enough jobs for all those who were applying. It's very different now. And so it was a struggle to find a job for a newly qualified teacher like me. In the end, I took a job in Harlow in Essex. It was a one year contract, so it meant I could get my induction year done. But it meant that I had to move away from home. And we got all that set up. I was going to live with the mother of the deputy head. I'd been to see the school. I'd got details of my class. I'd arranged for my accommodation. It was quite late on in July. On the way back home from Harlow on the train from one of my preliminary visits there, I found myself looking out the window and just literally asking God if this was what he wanted for me. Um, I was a bit confused. I didn't really want to move away from home. I didn't really want to go and live in Harlow. Nothing against Harlow, but just didn't want to go there. Um, and this song came to my mind and I found myself humming it in the, humming it to myself in the train. When I got home, no mobile phones in those days, when I got home, my mum told me that there had been a phone call from what was known as Division 9. It was the Inner London Education Authority, for those of you who can remember it. Division 9 Lambeth. To say that if I was interested, there was a school very nearby that was looking for a newly qualified teacher. And would I go along and meet the head teacher? So I rang Lambeth back and said, but I've committed myself now to Harlow. I've signed a contract, um, you know, that would be very bad, wouldn't it, for me to walk away? And they said, look, you've got nothing to lose. Go down and see the, te the head teacher, have a chat with him. You might not like the school, he might not like you, and then you just go to Harlow. If, however, you do want to try and get out of your contract, we'll see what we can do. So, OK, nothing to lose. I went down to the school and, long story short, um, like the school, head teacher like me, and he was wonderful. He helped me to phone Harlow. I phoned the local authority and I phoned the head teacher of the school where I was going to go. And bless him, bless him. He could tell that actually this was this was a, bit, a good move for me. He could see that, that my future was better near to home. And he released me from my contract. And so I went to work at Heathbrook Primary School in Lambeth. And I started my career there and I was there for six very, very happy years. And it was the best thing that ever happened to me. I don't know what would have happened if I'd gone to Harlow, but God did have other plans. And I'm so thankful that at many, many stages in my life, this particular song has popped back into my memory and popped back to remind me that God has a plan that we don't always know what that plan is. And I've often described my feeling about God's plan as being a bit like a jigsaw puzzle. And we get the pieces of the jigsaw puzzle and we try and make it fit, we try and make everything fit, but we don't have the picture. Now, I don't know if you've ever tried doing a jigsaw puzzle without the picture. You have no clue where everything goes. You can try and make things work, but, but you know, is this, grass or is it sky or what is it you know is this the sea or is it sky god i think my belief is that god has the picture and no matter how we try to juggle the pieces without god's picture for us we can't make things fit so i hope you enjoy this song which was a, a big part of my teenage years Growing up at Clapham Baptist Church, this was one of our youth praise, youth fellowship songs. And 
I hope you like it and maybe it will help you too. God bless you and thank you for listening. Trust the